Hello guys, welcome to another session. In this session, we are going to look into else and else if block. This is a continuation of the earlier session and this topic is also a part of control flow topic. So let's jump into the Visual Studio code to understand this topic. So we are into the Visual Studio code and we are into the same example which we have used in our earlier session that is if block session. So to take it further and understand else and else if block, I'm going to change the logic within this program. Now earlier it is not giving any message if the fruit spelling is already in uppercase. It is simply skipping but it was not printing any message. But this time I'm going to introduce a else block where I can handle whenever it finds that fruit name is in uppercase then it will print the message saying fruit is already in uppercase. So let's do it. How we can do that? We will tell that else and the code block and here we will write console dot log and specify the template string and here we will tell that dollar curly bracket start fruit ball and within that indices of that and here we will specify is already in uppercase save it so let's jump into the browser to see the output so here you will find that it has printed the message whenever it find the name of the fruit is already in uppercase so it is skipping that and giving the message like this peach is already in uppercase banana is already in uppercase so it is giving us the meaningful information that which fruit name is already in uppercase now let's proceed further now we will understand else if block so to understand the else if block i am going to do little change into this program and the change is i am going to introduce a new logic with some more condition like I want to convert to lowercase all those fruit name is in uppercase and if it contains E in their spelling. So how we can achieve this? So here we will use else if block along with this code. So let's look into that how we are going to do that. So first we will handle that we need to write. So let it be like this and here we are going to introduce a block called else if else if and then we will provide the condition like this if fruit ball the name of the fruit which come over here and we will check that if it contains that means includes the character e then it will convert it into lowercase so how we will do that now we will write like this let lower and then we will specify over here fruit ball the element and here we need to tell that to lowercase and then close it save it now we will print the console over here console dot log and we will type lower over here save it some error so we need so here we need to specify a space save it now jump into the browser to see the output and see here every name is in uppercase except peach because we told that if it is in uppercase and if it contains e then it will be converted to the lower case so this way we have used else if block so there are certain situation in actual programming when you want to handle multiple conditions so in such scenario this comes very handy which helps you to design the logic like this so here you can see that it went to the e block as well it went to the else if block as well as well as it also went to the else block that the reason we are getting over here banana is already in uppercase and it doesn't contain any e into the spelling so let's proceed further so now we have understanding about how we can use else and else if block and if you have any question then you can send me the message i will get back to you so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care